Hey guys, good morning. It's almost afternoon and we're looking at some pretty fun foods um, and some fun things to drink. <laughs> All kinds of interesting things. I'm with dietitian Felicia. Actually, your medical doctor. Yeah, no, I'm not a medical doctor, but I'm a, a, P, I'm a doctorally trained nutritionist and exercise physiologist. Okay, so we're talking about something interesting, um, histamine intolerance. I know, right? It's <laughs> interesting. I, I think, who knew, but you did, but not yes. many. Right, right. Yeah. yeah, so, you know, there are so many food intolerances that people have and sensitivities and allergies, and allergies are different than intolerances, but there's a whole class of foods that create problems for people and those are foods that are high in histamines which are naturally occurring and they occur in our body but some of us lack the ability to break it down properly so some foods are very high in histamines yeah. some of us take medications that inhibit the production of this enzyme called diamine oxidase so these are some of the things that most people would take if they do have a challenge with some either allergies or milk intolerance right, right. right. so like if you're lactose intolerant you take lactase or yeah. lactate right you take the enzyme so the good news is for somebody that has histamine intolerance, they lack the enzyme diamine oxidase. They can take the supplement. We have that here. So the, yes, there the, is um, a supplement. Yes, umbrella for that. DAO. Yeah. Thank goodness yeah. there's a supplement yeah. for that now. So, it's, so what the fascinating thing is, guys, this is what caught my eye. We're us West Coasters <laughs> who are just nuts about our health, and we're eating things like kefir or kombucha, yogurt, sauerkraut apple cider vinegar these are all things they're good they're good foods they're good for you but you might actually find that you're having a challenge with them that's right so it could be the histamine that's in those foods and then some of them are histamine liberators meaning that these foods not only have histamine but they really like to release a lot of it and things like chocolate and wine and beer and craft beers so yeah everything that we know wow. that should be good and and then sometimes not so much like the hot dog and right the hot dog yeah. and the cheese and the you know cheese. i love yeah. cheese i'm a big and smoked salmon like any of the right. smoked, smoked foods fish. are going to have that as well so i thought that was really interesting now there is this supplement and apparently this will help and oh no uh, John, it, there's nothing wrong with salmon. We're just saying there is there is a certain population that may have, have a histamine challenge tolerance. with histamine. Right, and so yeah. the, the good news is, as, as I understand it, there's a company that's working on doing a genetic test to find out if you have a genetic predisposition to reduced diamine oxidase production. So if people are concerned about whether or not they have this intolerance, you can go to daodeficiency.org and you can find out more. Um, also at Umbrellux, U-M-B-R-E-L-L-U-X dot com, Umbrellux, D-A-O, I'm sorry, <laughs> dot com. You can go there and get more information as well about histamine intolerance. Okay, and the cheap and cheerful way to um, maybe stop the symptom would be to have some black tea, which Correct. is also nice. But what we did bury the lead, we didn't say, hey, how would I know right. I might be? So there's some, right. what kind of symptoms are we going yeah, to see? Yeah, sure. So some of the symptoms, some people might break out with hives. They might have a rapid heart rate, like out of nowhere, we call that tachycardia. Um, you might feel really lethargic and sluggish and tired out of nowhere. Again, like maybe 20 minutes after you drink a glass of wine. And I'm talking about like maybe if it's during the day and you're having that symptom. And wine, for example, uh, red wine has 200 times the amount of histamine than white or rosé. So, uh, yes, yeah, so the tachycardia, the rapid heart rate, uh, quick onset headaches. Yeah, okay. Right. And Marcus, yes, you did hear thunder. There's thunder in Malibu. I don't yes. know. I mean, we're shocked. We're, I'm laughing. But apparently it's raining in Glendale and it's thundering in Malibu. But um, anyway, I just wanted to bring this to you. Felicia's in town and brought this, and this is something... It's not that it isn't, um, it's, it's, it's not, dis I want to say. It's not like threatening. <laughs> it's not like threatening, but, and it's relatively new right. as far as news, which is right. why I like to bring yeah. stuff like this. So this yeah. is very interesting. Yeah, I mean, even as a dietitian, this is something that for me is brand spanking new. We never really studied and discussed diamine oxidase as an enzyme or an enzymatic pathway when I was, you know, doing my training. And, you know, it's not that it didn't exist. I think it's just that we get better at fine tuning and learning more about the parts of our body, sort of all the, uh, all the juices that are flowing in yeah. our body and really looking at how we break down specific ingredients that are in foods and certain properties of foods to sort of nar narrow down, you know, what might be causing problems for yeah. people. So by all means, guys, don't stop eating your favorite foods, especially when they're healthy like these. But uh, moreover, maybe listen to your body, you know, kind of see if you feel like, okay, I've had that red wine, I do have the headache or the, or the big spike in my heart rate. Um, 
you know, just kind of listen and watch. And maybe there is uh, apparently this organization, this company has like a, a trial supplement to say, did you have that wine? Did yeah, you have that chocolate? Yeah, and yeah. There is a there is a small sample pack that you can get from the company, and you can try it. And the good news is, if you take it before a food that used to be a trigger, and if it works, then you know right away what the problem is. Yeah. So that's what's so great. And there's nothing harmful. It does not get absorbed into your bloodstream. It all works within you know your stomach, your small intestine. And so that's, you know, it goes right out of the body. So news you guys can use. We'll have more on ABC7. <laughs> so um, just stay tuned. But I thought I'd bring that to you this morning. And um, don't forget to pack your umbrella if you're heading out today.